In this guide today, you're going to learn how to single-handedly kill the Zamorak Gobbles boss, Krill Tsutsutsaroth with the 6-0 Bandos, Bandos, Bofa method right here, right now. Going in with this equipment, I have a Slayer helmet. I figured Greater Demons are so common for Slayer tasks, you may as well do it on task. Followed with obviously the Bofa full crystal, Ring of the Gods, my Zamorak item which we'll be switching out when we enter the room, Ancient Blessing to bank it next, Mole Slippers because they're best in slot. Over in the inventory, we have the four-way mage switch, and then we fill the rest of our inventory with shit. I don't think you need too many staminas. I guess now is the perfect time for me to get in my final flex and my extra credentials on this boss. I've only done this method once outside of uh, attempting it to get my elite uh, combat task done. And what you'll find here is that I've completed all of the combat tasks, including the Grandmaster ones. We did this on our first ever attempt, first time entering the room. Now, there are two different ways to do this room. You have all these tile markers here. These two, the one up the top here and the one down the bottom here, are the most important tiles. I'm going to leave the tile markers in the description down below. So make sure you right-click copy everything between the two dashes in the description and go to your world map here and go import ground markers to get these tiles. Now, normally what people do when they're learning this is they will enter the room and uh, if you do it with an Iron Man or a Group Iron or a private instance, if you right click pay, um, you don't need to worry about where Krill is. However, if you're doing it on a normal account in the main room, you wanna make sure he's not really like anywhere on this side of the room. You want him to be over near the altar at least. But what you would traditionally do is run into this tile here and you'll attack Krill. Then you run to this tile, attack Krill. This tile, attack Krill. This tile, attack Krill. Over here, Attack Krill, click the door and you start red Xing. You'll be using the red X method on the altar and the door in this method. What I personally do, my own method, which I'm going to teach you guys, is to have some balls and just get the fuck in there. So, you're going to tank a few hits on the first kill, but once you get it done, you're sweet. We are going to have a sippy sippy of this, this, and one of these nuts. We're going to pray melee, uh, rigor with the harder, and preserve. We're going to pay to enter the instance. And then we're immediately going to run to this tile over here. And we're going to attack Krill and click the altar straight away. He's going to attack us, that's fine. We're going to attack Krill again, and we're going to keep running now. And then we're going to attack Krill again, and we're going to keep running. Attack Krill and click the altar straight away. I think I've got a bit of lag here. Attack Krill coming out from underneath him, and you're set, pretty much. Attack Krill now, that's fine, get to here. Attack Krill and click the altar at the same time. Attack him again coming out. Keep attacking him here, and we're, we're already set. We don't need to run around the room. You got Your boy's got big balls and a big dick. Keep running under him now. Go and attack him again here, and keep moving. You're going to attack Krill. Run to this square here. Once you get to this square, you're going to attack Krill and click on the altar immediately. When you come out from the other side, you're going to attack him and keep running. You're going to attack him again. You can go to prey range now if you want, actually, by the way. Attack Krill again. Click on the door immediately. When you come through, attack Krill. Might eat some food here, though, actually, but I'm going to click him anyway just to keep my timing right. Go here. Click. Hit the altar. Run straight under. Click Krill again on the way out. Keep running. Ah! And here we go. Coming out. The kill is done. Two boys uh, stacked up on each other. Uh, I'm a dickhead. Start attacking this guy. And you want to time uh, your prayer. So I think it's mage. Hold on, range, uh, range and mage on the same tile, that's fine. So we're just gonna um, bomb this guy here and take the mage hits, because the mage doesn't hit as high as the other two. Pray range, and this is actually a good way to learn how to like pray flick as well and set up your off ticks if you really wanted to. In my opinion, I always tell people if you're trying to learn how to pray flick and all that uh, fancy shit, Gobble's Dungeon is the best way to do it because it applies the right amount of risk and the right amount of damage and timing to get your ticks perfect. But basically, you're just gonna pray flick your way to full health, and you're winning, that's it. You don't need to run around the room, you don't need to do anything special. Just tank one hit, have some balls, and you're good to go. That's all it takes. Alright, the boys are dead, we're gonna use the altar. I don't really care about any of the, the loot, because, I mean, we're here for the spears at the end of the day. And we're gonna go stand on this tile here. This is your starting tile. Again, these tiles are here for the meta, but we don't need the meta, we've got big balls. Uh, range and rigor with the hard R. As soon as Krill looks at you, alright, he looks, attack, altar, you're good. That's it. Attack coming out, and keep moving. And that's it. All the way to the kill. Run under, hit him with a fucking <laughs> And he's dead. That easy. I don't really need to say much more about the situation. Hold on. I'm gonna die here. Alright, we're good. Back to business. That's it. That's how simple the room is. I don't think I need to show you guys anymore. I'll do one more kill just in case we get the pet. And then uh, we're fucking off. This method, in my opinion, is a lot easier than the solo bandits guide. And I am recreating a lot of my guides. Uh, going into this year because everything's changed since I last made all my guides many years ago If you want to follow this content and see it happen more live in action with that big dick energy Make sure you come to the live streams right here on YouTube live five days a week Hit the subscribe button down below and like the stream uh, the, Sorry, not the stream the video if you learned something today 
Pray range. Rig with the hard R. Best of luck, everybody. Give us that pet. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Go on, that's it. He's down. Give us the pet. Fuck! We never get anything lucky from this boy, but... That's really all there is to it, guys. It's honestly super easy. If you make a mistake, uh, and you and you get the timing wrong, you can skip your attack on the way back through the door and stand on the square before the tar marker, and then repeat the process. But at that point, I tend to just start winging it and hope for the best and get back in the timing. Um, you don't really need the outside tiles, in my opinion. Feel free to let everyone know that, and you know, you heard it from me first, your boy. I should probably be healing off these guys, hey? And that's it, guys. Sorry if the voice was a bit uh, wacky as well this video. I'm still recovering from this chest infection, but otherwise, you guys are awesome. Keep on gaming and I'll see you in the fucking live streams. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, goddamn! Fuck, mate, look at that boy. It's huge! You got a big boy.